this is what I'm planning to talk about. I'm going to explain, again, well known to many people, what the traveling salesman problem is, then some applications, how the traveling salesman problem arises in some rather unusual contexts, then different formulations. I've always thought, because in integer programming you can often formulate problems in different ways, and some are easier to solve than others, is there not a better formulation of this well-known difficult problem, the traveling salesman problem? Well, there are some other formulations. Um, I have to say at the beginning, the results are rather negative. No one's yet come up with a, some tr tremendous formulation that solves all the problems very quickly. So some of it's fairly negative, but I think it's rather interesting. And then I'm going to compare these formulations by something which is closer to my current research, the idea of projection, projecting them down into the space of the original variables in the conventional formulation. So it's a theoretical way of comparing the different formulations. So the problem is this, as is well known, a salesman wishes to travel around a set of cities and return to the beginning covering the smallest total distance. And it's well known because it's easy to state but difficult to solve for more than trivial instances. So that's restating it. You go around a number of cities, visiting each one in such an order as to cover the minimum total distance. Now, the distance from X to Y may be the same as this is from Y to X. The first um, case is called the symmetric traveling salesman problem. The second case, the asymmetric traveling salesman problem. I also want to make a point that isn't, you know, people who are not specialists don't altogether sometimes realize. If there is no condition to return to the beginning, which in my experience was a lot of the slightly less usual and less obvious applications, then it is still essentially a traveling salesman problem. So suppose I wanted to go from um, start at A and finish at B, and then I can choose the order in which I go to the other cities. You can easily make this into a conventional traveling salesman problem by putting in a dummy city, it's a fictitious city, with zero distances. So I make those distances on those arcs zero, zero distances to them, and then you treat it as a traveling salesman problem. And obviously the traveling salesman is going to use the two zero distances, so it's going to result in whatever the... Um, whatever the optimal tour is. Right, and as I said, that problem does arise quite often. And if we return to the beginning, we want what's usually called the minimum cost Hamiltonian circuit.